Good evening. I'm Jessica Moore. Former President Trump returns to his hometown tonight with a rally at the iconic Madison Square Garden, while Vice President Harris spends most of her day in Philadelphia. A new CBS News poll shows both candidates neck and neck nationally among likely voters, with Harris at 50 percent over Trump's 49 percent. In battleground states, both are polling at 50 percent. Let's take a live look now inside Madison Square Garden, where Donald Trump is holding a campaign rally right now. The historic arena packed. People even camped out overnight to make sure they got inside. The former president has it's yet to take the stage. You see Dr. Phil speaking right now. The rally began around 3 this afternoon. We're also expecting to hear from Trump's running mate, Senator J.D. Vance, as well as big supporter Elon Musk. Lisa Rosner begins our coverage tonight from inside MSG. Jessica, thousands of people are here, some from other parts of the country. Among the issues being addressed are immigration, the war in Israel, and crime. Former Mayor Rudy Giuliani spoke, as well as Staten Island activist Scott Lebedo. Every seat appears to be filled here from the floor to the highest sections. President Trump, as we know, is from Queens. We've met supporters here from his home borough, but also a couple from Chicago. Nassau County Executive Bruce Blakeman is one of several Long Island representatives who came to the garden in the Trump motorcade. President Trump grew up here. He's a New Yorker. That's why some people get a little annoyed at him. He speaks his mind. Just look around. This is incredible. We're in New York City in the middle of uh, you know, this liberal, the most, one of the most liberal cities in the country, and it's amazing. I just love him, and he's the best. I want the economy to get better. We have an influx of migrants, illegal migrants. Our economy is, you know, you just go to the grocery store. This rally is one of a series of detours that the former president made from battleground states. I also spoke with the NYPD, who says they have drones, robots, and counterterrorism units all around the area, making sure they are keeping everyone safe. In Madison Square Garden, Lisa Rosner, CBS News, New York. All right, Lisa, thank you. And as she just mentioned, the NYPD has deployed extra resources for Trump's rally tonight. They tell us they've been preparing for a month, and so far things have remained calm in and out of MSG, despite some protests. All hands on deck, federally, locally, and NYPD, and uh, we're ready to go. We figure on 8, 8.30, we should be free and clear. And like I said, hopefully have a very safe day for everybody. Okay. The NYPD also said while there are minimal street closures around the garden, they're still encouraging public transportation for people who are heading out tonight. Vice President Harris is staying focused on the battleground state of Pennsylvania today. Harris spoke at a rally in Philadelphia this afternoon. Earlier in the day, she made multiple stops through Philly, visiting a church, a barbershop, bookstore, and a restaurant. Before heading to Pennsylvania, Harris sat down with CBS Evening News anchor Nora O'Donnell for an exclusive interview. She discussed her position on restoring Roe v. Wade in light of abortion bans. Here's a portion of that conversation. This was not an issue in Ro when Roe v. Wade was intact for 50 years, half a century. Women, together with their physicians, were here at a medical office talking with physicians. In, women in consultation, if they chose, with their priest, their pastor, their rabbi, their imam. So you were do able support to restrictions those, after viability? I support Roe versus Wade being put back into law by Congress and to restore the fundamental right of women to make decisions about their own body. It is that basic. Harris will deliver an outdoor speech in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday. The rally is scheduled to take place on the ellipse in the shadow of the White House. It's the second day of early voting in New York and New Jersey, and we found long lines once again at this polling location at John Jay College on 59th near 11th Avenue. The city's Board of Elections reports more than 257,000 people voted early today. That's higher than yesterday's total of more than 140,000. The process is very easy. Again, I got a mail-in ballot that I was dropping off in person, so I didn't have to wait in line. I literally got here five or ten minutes ago. I asked a poll work worker to help me find the place to go, which they quickly did. They verified my ballot inside. That took about two minutes, and uh, I sealed it and dropped it in the box, and now I'm on my way. 
Early voting in New York and New Jersey continues from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. tomorrow through Friday. Hours switch to 8 to 5 for Saturday and Sunday. Early voting started in Connecticut on October 21st. And stay with CBS News New York leading up to Election Day. We have a voter's guide on our website with everything you need to know before you hit the polls. You can find it all at CBSNewYork.com.